Hello friends, now with only 45 days left to CAT, we need to plan these remaining 45 days in a proper way so that we can increase our score up to a certain extent. So let us spend a few minutes in understanding how to basically plan what all need we need to do in these 45 days so that uh, all of us can increase our score. Okay, so what to do in these next 45 days? Now, first of all, it is very important to make a proper schedule of revision. Now, our revision should go in a proper direction. We should not be confused at the beginning of every day, uh, thinking and spending time on uh, what to do this particular day. All right. So we should pre-plan all these things so that we can save upon time and our revision is going in a proper direction. All right. So let us understand how to make a proper schedule for revision. Now, first of all, <laughs> it becomes very important to incorporate all the three sections, probably on daily basis or at least on alternate basis. So if I have done a revision of quant today, so I must practice quant tomorrow or maximum day after tomorrow. So that means we need to incorporate all the three sections when we are revising our stuff. Okay. So what you can do is you can take out uh, 8 to 10 hours of studying hours starting from today up till 27th of November. Now in these 8 to 10 hours, you can break these 8 to 10 hours properly so that you can make a slot for each of these sections. All right. So now let's say if you decide to spend 10 hours on daily basis for the studies of CAT. So what you can do is you can start with verbal ability. Okay, so you can spend around three hours on verbal ability. Reading comprehension is the backbone of verbal ability section. So out of these three hours, you can spend two hours on RC passages and remaining one hour on uh, para jumbles, para completion and so on and so forth. All right. Now, after you are done with verbal ability, then you can switch over to LRDI and practice six to seven sets of LRDI for somewhere around three hours. Okay. Now practicing also includes a proper analysis. If you could not understand any particular RC passage or LRDI set. All right. Now, after this, obviously you are taking some small breaks, some mini breaks in between. You cannot be studying for uh, three plus three, six to seven hours continuously. All right. So with some small breaks, then you can switch your focus to QA section and pick up one or two topics on every day, depending upon the length and your comfortability in that area. So if you are weak in a particular area, let's say logarithms or functions and graphs, any of the areas of algebra. So you can pick one topic on that particular day. Otherwise, if you have smaller topics like certs and indices, time and work, and you are strong in these areas, then you can pick more than one topic on a particular day of quant. Now, Six hours we have already studied and we decided for 10 hours. So we are left with four hours for quant. So you can practice uh, one or two topics in these four hours. Now, from where we'll be getting these practice questions? Definitely, this is a big question because we must have uh, been exhausted with uh, a lot of questions which were there in our study material. So here you can buy a new test series, buy a new set of questions of any of the institutes. Baiju's exam prep also offers one wonderful test series, which has mock papers, 70 mock papers, and uh, a lot of practice questions also. So you can buy any of these uh, test series like this. And in such test series, you will find plenty of practice questions that you can solve in the remaining 45 days before CAT. All right. So this is what you can do on one particular day if you have decided to spend around 10 hours. All right. So understand the importance of spending good amount of time on all the three areas. Now, while practicing these questions, we, we are basically preparing ourselves for a CAT examination. So it is also important to incorporate mock papers probably on uh, like uh, three to four days, like after every three to four days. So what I would advise you is to take two mock papers in one week. All right. So let's say if you have taken uh, like uh, if you if you want to take uh, one mock paper today. So in the morning you can take the mock paper. All right. So you can spend two hours on that 
and then after that obviously the mock is not not over you have just taken the mock but you have not gained anything out of that so you have just tested yourself but the learning is still there to come so once the mock is over it's time for a proper analysis of the mock paper right so once the mock paper is done so look at all the questions which you have attempted incorrectly all right so incorrect attempts look at them look at the solution for all those uh, questions then after that you can come to all the questions which you have left unattempted so find out the reason why you have left them unattempted uh, you were not able to see these questions you were not able to reach to these questions or you thought uh, you thought that uh, the question is a little lengthy and you, you will come back to that question later on so find out the reason and also find out the level of difficulty of that particular question was it uh, wise was it good to leave that question during the examination or uh, it was necessary to attempt that question in the examination reason it out now once you have the reason fine good but you need to know the answer you need to know the solution of that particular question okay so look at these questions which you have left unattempted now after that the turn is for all the questions which you have attempted correctly yes my dear friends you need to analyze those questions which you have let which you have uh, attempted correctly surprised no you should not be now you have left some questions unattempted what is the reason for that the reason might be you were not able to reach to those questions because you have spent some extra time in attempting those questions which you have done correctly okay so if you have attempted a question in a certain manner and there is a way of attempting that question in more efficient way then you should be knowing that way all right so spend few minutes on looking at those questions and finding out a better way of attempting those questions so that you can way uh, you can uh, uh, like you can uh, save some time you can save uh, let's say 30 seconds on one question and saving 30 seconds on five questions will end up saving somewhere around two to three minutes and these two to three minutes can be utilized to attempt one more questions so the questions that we have attempted correctly should be attempted in the most efficient manner all right so this is the reason why i'm asking you to look at those questions which you have attempted correctly right so this proper analysis of the entire paper for all the three sections quant lrdi as well as uh, uh, verbal rc it will take somewhere around three to four hours so two hours of mock and four hours of analysis that means six hours okay so in that case there is no need to spend uh, like uh, 10 hours separately after mock because you have already practiced some questions now once the mock is over try to identify your weak areas and work on those weak areas on the probably on the same day or on the next one or two days all right so this cycle should keep on repeating so if today i have taken a mock i'll start looking up at my weak areas today and i'll spend one more day on uh, working on my weak areas then the next day that is day after tomorrow i'll do i'll practice some sectional test okay so what you can do is you can take one sectional test of verbal rc you can take one sectional test of lrdi as well as one for quant and then analyze these on the entire day all right so doing this it will basically be able to uh, like you will be able to reach the quota of 10 hours that you have decided for yourself you are practicing questions you are analyzing your mistakes you are working on your weak areas that means you are improving and you are going in right direction now once after uh, a pop paper two or three days have elapsed you will be prepared once again for taking another mock and then you can take mock on the fourth day all right so this way you will be able to take at least two mock papers in one week all right so this is the plan that you need to make that you need to work upon for the remaining days before cat so uh, this is how you need to work upon now one very important thing is the daily dose now you should be always in touch with rc passages lrdi these two are the backbone of a cat examination 
all right so on daily basis make sure that you are practicing four to five rc passages and four to five lrt assets be it in a form of a sectional test be it in a form of a mock paper be it in a form of practice questions be it in any form you need to do all these things on daily basis if you have time after that you can pick up one area of quant and finish it depending upon the time like i mentioned earlier you can pick one or two areas of quant all right so friends that is all from my side i'll be keep coming back uh, with the same sessions like this to basically help you in uh, uh, giving a proper direction to your preparation in uh, like uh, uh, achieving the target that you have set for yourself for the cat examination so friends all the very best for this examination and your preparation we'll see you again have a nice day